Okay, y'all, legitimately, I did not expect this today at all, okay? I was literally just chilling out today, and I like, look at my phone, and I see this on Twitter. And, holy crap, look at this. We got a freaking gameplay today out of nowhere. Like, Sega, what do you guys... Okay, before we start discussing, look at... What is this? Where they had the tenacity to just drop this out of nowhere? Like, they really love this whole Shadow Drop thing. First Sonic Origins, now Sonic Frontiers. I mean, hey, I will take this gameplay. I will gladly take it. I will take it, okay? Listen, I will take it. But this is just, it just makes me laugh of how they're just shadow dropping stuff now. I mean, it is just the word teaser. It is just a teaser. It's nothing major. I want to make something a little bit clear. This is not an official trailer. This is not the official final trailer. This is just a teaser, they said, because we have stuff coming tomorrow. We have more gameplay coming tomorrow. I don't think they're going to play the exact same trailer. I mean... Maybe they'll play a trailer similar to this, but with more stuff in it, like maybe talk about the story and maybe showing more stuff that's going on, maybe a cutscene or something. I don't know. I think, honestly, if we, if we was to get more from the trailer tomorrow, like maybe more information and maybe some like more gameplay of like maybe some more stuff going on and I don't know, maybe I'd have to say like maybe, I don't know, some, like I said, something related to the story or something like that, I don't know. We'll discuss more later. So first, we're going to go ahead and play the trailer, and then we'll discuss more on how I feel and my reaction overall. Alright, so enjoy the trailer. Fantastic stuff right there, right? So let's go ahead and discuss a little bit. Like I said, not too long of a video right now because we have more stuff to talk about tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get into this and discuss. So right off the bat, you can tell that this game looks very, very good. Graphically, it looks amazing. Probably one of the most impressive games I've seen in quite a while in my opinion. Like, okay, well, not true. But when it comes to Sonic games, this is probably one of the most impressive games I've seen in like a very long time. Because if you noticed, like over the past 10 years, Sonic games and graphics and quality overall have just kind of dipped a lot lately. Like just, when was the last time you saw a really good looking modern Sonic game with like just good graphics overall? Unleashed, that's right, I knew that's what you were going to say. I mean you could kind of say Forces, but no, Unleashed is like way better. But this, this takes it to like a whole new level. It looks amazing. Okay, real quick, shout out to all the Switch players, like, because I don't know what you're all again, because there's no way this game is going to be running on the Switch. Nuh-uh. Don't even, make, don't even think about it, because that's not going to happen, alright? I feel sorry for you, you're like, probably a cloud version, honestly, on the Switch, I don't know. But, I mean, that's maybe to the side some other time, I don't know. Maybe they'll delay like they did with Origins for some reason, I don't know. But anyway, let's talk more about just what's in the game itself. Combat is in a Sonic game. Like, that's honestly awesome. Like, look at this combat. Like, you can see Sonic doing, like, combos and kicks and punches. That is so awesome. That's what I've always wanted in a Sonic game because I grew up with Unleashed and the Werehog and stuff. Like, I always wanted, like, combat in a Sonic game. Like, I never figured it would happen, but this is awesome. Like, it always reminds me of, like, you know, that cutscene in Sonic Forces with like Zavik at the end of his boss fight where he like punches and kicks him multiple times like that's kind of what it reminds me of and we actually I, I really hope that's not automated if it's automated I'm gonna be so sad but it doesn't look like it is it looks like maybe you could like you know make Sonic like attack enemies but that looks so awesome like I honestly can't wait for that I can't wait to play with the combat in this like maybe you can go up and like I don't know punch or punch a rock or a plant or something like I don't know or maybe it's like exclusive to like boss fights or like while you're attacking enemies i'm not sure but if you look also here you can see he's doing the spin cycle that's been talked about in the leaks so that shows that a lot of the leaks were legit and that like the spin cycle it's actually a thing i mean we saw it in the teaser yes so that just further proves it more that the spin cycle is really a thing so let's talk more about like you know about some of the enemies here too a little bit now look at some of these enemies they look nothing like we've seen like i honestly do think those leaks that came out like around this time last year saying like dr eggman isn't the main threat. I'm willing to believe it. Like, this does not look like some sort of Eggman 
type of threat. Like, it looks nothing like it. Like, it looks, some of the enemies, like, it looks, I don't even know how to describe them. Like, it's just it's completely something different than in your average type of Sonic game. That's all I'm really just got to say on that. But, like I said, we'll likely be getting more details tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And I will be making a video on that tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be streaming it because I'm not sure if it's a live event. But if it's a live event, I will see if I can stream it. I don't know. I'm still trying to, you know, get equipment set up for streaming and stuff. I've been testing around on that. So stay tuned. If I stream, I'll stream 12 p.m. around that time because uh, I'm in Eastern time. So stay tuned for that for more details tomorrow on Sonic Frontiers. Yes, you heard me correct. Tomorrow, June 1st, which also happens to be my birthday month. So, yay. So let's talk more about just overall Sonic's model real quick, okay? I know that sounds a little stupid to talk about right now. It's ooh, Sonic's model, but it looks like it's still the Forces model, I think, maybe. I don't know. But if he has better control, I mean, here's my problem with the Forces model. The lazy animations and just overall no idle animations whatsoever. And just, I mean, the shorter quills annoyed me, yes. But if the gameplay is good and he controls fine, you could actually, like, move in a circle... I will be okay with it. I can look. I can look past the quills. All right. I mean, yes, I've ranted about it online, but I am willing to look over it. Okay. I'm willing to look over the short quills. Okay. But like I said, he just needs to control well, and I need to have fun with him. So let's talk a little bit also about that one second um, at the beginning of the trailer too, where it looks like he's doing a boost. That looks. In that's interesting. So does this confirm the boost gameplay is back in this game? I mean, I went. I don't know. I mean, it does. I don't think adventure gameplay is coming back. I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't think adventure is coming back, y'all. Let's be honest. But I mean, could that be the boost? I mean, it do, it doesn't look like it. I mean, usually there's like a little energy effect around him, but this time there really wasn't much of one. But I don't know. Like I said, more details tomorrow, so we'll discuss on that. I mean, I, it looks like the boost. I mean, but having the boost gameplay would be really fun around the open world. Like I look forward to that. So, here, let's talk about another thing, and that is the logo. The logo, they changed it. They changed the logo, and I gotta say, I love it. Like, honestly, I never asked for them to change the logo. Like, I never really cared. But, honestly, it looks way better than what came out before. Like, before, it just looked like some sort of weird thing, like a digitalized television thing. But it looks so sick now. It's like that little circle right there. And you can see like the little like rift thing right there. Is that supposed to be like a little tease at like, I don't know, maybe cyberspace? That's actually something interesting too. They haven't really talked about cyberspace much from what we've been hearing in the legitimate leaks. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this new trailer. This looks sick. Are you excited for Frontiers? Are you not excited for Frontiers? But let me know in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not. We'll be covering more Frontier stuff tomorrow when it comes out. We cover all things Sonic here on this channel. And yes, I know it's been a while since I uploaded, even when I uploaded a video about where I've been. I've just been working on a lot of scripted content recently, trying to get the best of quality to you guys, especially with my brand new editing software, my brand new setup, and even my brand new um, just overall equipment. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Stay tuned for tomorrow for an another Frontiers video on covering the more info we get. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all. Have a great day. Take care.